The Tattersall's Tertiary Thunder program continues to produce AFL stars. And only Collier can match that. Four young players have been invited to testing programs. Of Motlop. Beautiful. Wanderers star Marlon Motlop and St Mary's gun Sewell junior boy Rioli will attend the AFL draft camp in Canberra. You know, I think it's very important, you know, we're getting drafted. I mean, you know, a lot of AFL clubs, you know, go down to the draft camp and, you know, look at the players, you know, on their agility and fitness and all that stuff. How has playing with the Thunder Squad helped you? you know, it's kind of helped me just a little bit more, you know, with more clubs being down there, you know, just to be watched and stuff. But, and, you know, playing with the Thunder Boys, you know, it's, you know, it's good. And you get all 16 AFL clubs recruiting officers there, so it gives you an opportunity to, like, you know, straight stuff, show what you're made of. What sort of training have you been doing to prepare for the draft camp? I've had to do some stuff on my own, just some, just some runs and that every, every night. And I got in the NTIS with Dobbo just last week. I say just preparing, getting my body right. Another two Thunder players have been invited to Adelaide for a testing session. Territory leading. That's good news for Buffs live wire Charlie Sharples and McLean medalist uh, Peter Rolfe. Yeah, that was the boys. <laughs> the New South Wales ACT team easily accounting for the Territory by 46 points at Telstra Stadium. Peter Rolfe kicked four goals as the Thunder performed well against Tasmania at Geelong. And seven goals from Sewell Rioli sealed a win against Queensland at Victoria Park. New South Wales ACT win the Division 2 competition, undefeated with the Thunder's Austin Wanameri, named among the NAB's most valuable player. I'll have a preview of the AFL Grand Final next Thursday.